Hello, what is going on? Today, we're making a video on how to travel Vietnam. So we're gonna make this short and simple and get straight to the point. The things we're gonna be covering are the route, the budget, so how much you're gonna be spending each month and each day. We're gonna talk about food. Also, we're gonna be talking about transport and how you're gonna be getting around to each destination. And we're also gonna be talking about accommodation and places you'll be staying. So the route that we traveled to Vietnam was Hanoi, Hue, Hoi An, De Lat, Muine and Ho Chi Minh City. Now we're going to break them all down. Hanoi. This is where you either start or end your journey. For us it was the start. Expect to see mopeds everywhere and even crossing the road can be an experience. Vietnam is rich in history so make sure you make time for the Ho Lao prison. I think that's how you pronounce it. But if you're starting your journey there it's a good experience to just wander around, see what Vietnam has to offer and just get a feel for it. So after that, we did take a bus ride to Hue. Although we heard good things about Hue, we personally didn't enjoy it that much and we didn't get too much done there. And we decided to cut our trip short on Hue and move on to Hoi An. However, if we could go back to Hue, there was one thing we didn't know about and it's an abandoned water park. If you do go to Hue, make sure you go and visit this place. We saw pictures after and we was like, why did we not go and see that? So it's like a water park that started to get built and then they stopped building it and you can just go there. Good experience, I guess. Next up was Hoi An. And Hoi An was our favourite destination in the whole of Vietnam. We love spending our day cycling through the lantern lit town, spending time by the river and eating delicious Vietnamese food. So Hoi An is packed full of side street cafes and most popular for tailoring clothes. You can get your suits made there, dresses, loads of other clothes, very cheap and they'll send it home to you as well. If you are interested in Vietnamese food, they do do a full day eating tour where we literally went around the whole day with a local and they took us to all these different destinations and we just tried all the Vietnamese food. We had way too much food. If you want to see the video to that, we'll put the link in the description, but we definitely recommend doing that. After leaving the beautiful town of Hoi An behind, we then moved on to Da Lat. The only reason we actually went to Da Lat was mainly for the canyoneering, which was one of the best experiences of our whole entire trip. We had so much fun. It was the best day out. De Lat is known for canyoneering, so make sure you have time to do it. Also, we went up to the cable carts in the mountains, and that was very beautiful as well, seeing the Vietnamese countryside. And then we also went to the weirdest bar I've been to, no, weirdest place I've ever been to in my entire life. It's like a bar, and you go into the bar, and it's like a maze, and it has, how many stories is it, like uh, six? Six. And it's, it's weird, you'd have to go there to experience it's it. It's called 100 Roofs Cafe. Yeah, and then you get to the top and you can see this city view, but it was the weirdest experience. So if you do go to Dalat, make sure you go and visit this bar. It is one of the best experiences of our travels, and one of the weirdest things I've ever been to in my life. So after Dalat, we took a long seven hour coach ride to Mune. And although Mune is known for the sand dunes, we didn't experience that, but we did see a wicked sunrise and a sunset. Personally, I would say miss out Mune as there was not really that much going on yeah. there. It was kind of, kind of boring. To it, was, it was boring and the beach was actually really dirty. I think it so was more for, it yeah, it's more for people going on holiday there. So to end off our trip in Vietnam, we ended it in Ho Chi Minh City, which is one of my favorite cities in the whole of Asia. It's a vibrant, bustling city. And the amount of mopeds there will throw you back. But you will see the weirdest things that people carry on the back of their mopeds. It's just unbelievable. We've seen a guy carrying like a desk on his moped. A wardrobe. A, a wardrobe on his moped. So. <laughs> but Ho Chi Minh City was a, a great way to say goodbye to Vietnam. It really was lovely. The next topic we are going to be talking about are the costs, money and budget. So for us, we budgeted for £1,000 each per month, which equal to £35 a day. However, having a smaller budget is really easy in Vietnam. Yeah. The street food is so cheap and it's so delicious. So you could live as cheap as £20 each a day, which tallies up to £500 to £600 per month. Accommodation. So for us, for our accommodation, the budget was £10 each a night. So about £20 for a hotel room. There's cheaper options you can go for. There's hostels for maybe three or four pound a night. Look around and you'll find cheap, cheap hostels and hotels. You will be surprised at how nice the rooms are for how little money you are yep, spending. 100%. Also with accommodation, don't stress too much. You can find rooms on the day or you can use popular apps such as booking.com and Agoda, Hostel World and Hostel Bookers. Travel and transport. So Vietnam will mainly be consisting of long, long, 
long bus rides and overnight sleeper journeys expect to see as many people as they can squash onto one coach as you can we'd be on coach journeys going through the little towns and then they stop off locals get on with stalls and just sit down in the middle of the coach and that's just normal so have an open mind it is going to be really different to where you live but it's fun just enjoy it expect to pay around five pounds for a bus ticket and around 10 to 15 pounds for an overnight sleeper train food so vietnamese food was absolutely delicious each meal had so much flavor so you shouldn't leave without trying the famous banh mi each street food meal costs on average 70p to £1.50 and you can get beer as cheap as 25p yeah. vietnam is really really cheap to eat now we're going to get onto 10 top tips that we think are going to come in handy whilst you travel around vietnam so make sure you visit the world famous halong bay a beautiful experience even though it was gloomy and not very really sunny when we were there we still loved it it was still amazing so around two days and one night will cost you about 80 pounds so you have two days of activities obviously one night on the boat and still a great experience you can get a lot done in that time some people do go for two nights three days tip number two so this country requires a lot of bargaining you will get pestered the most in this country but don't be afraid knock down your tuk tuk's half price don't be afraid to walk away from a deal just bargain hard so tip number three if you're unsure on prices of taxi destinations or local food or something like that Normally just ask your hotel and they'll probably be willing to help you and give you a rough guide of how much it will be rather than you going out and guessing yourself and getting ripped off. Tip number four, make sure you sort out a Vietnam visa before entering the country. It normally requires you to go up to a Vietnam embassy wherever you live and pay around £50 for a 30 day visa. You can pay, I think it is £100 for 60 days depending on why you're going. Tip number five, if you're running low on money or you just want to save a bit of money, Get on the overnight sleeper trains, they'll save you money. They might be long, but overall they're gonna save you money and it's a good experience. So tip number six, if you can make it in time for the Lantern Festival in Hoi An, then do so, it's meant to be really beautiful and unfortunately we wasn't there to spend it. Tip number seven, a great way to get around Vietnam, obviously moped, but the roads are kind of crazy there. We'd say get our bicycle and just cycle around and take it all in. It's a great way to see it without being caught up in all the craziness. Tip number eight, be prepared to be pestered all the time. When they see Westerners, they instantly think we're rich. So just be ready for that. Tip number nine, always ask how much for the street food because normally they'll try and charge you more than what they would normally charge. So as soon as they've served the food, you have to pay whatever they yeah, say. So, so clarify it I'm before. pretty sure a few times we got ripped off. Tip number 10, so if you're traveling with four people, try and book an overnight sleeper train in advance, that way you can share a bunk all together. If you're traveling in just the twos, like me and Mia, we booked our train and luckily enough we got a reasonable couple, they're very nice, so we were lucky, but we did hear when some people would get put with locals and they'd just be sitting there staring at them and it's a bit uncomfortable, we don't really want to be doing that, so try and find another two and try and pair up and then book it together and try and get on the same seats. So that is the end of the video. I hope we covered some good information and everybody enjoyed it. We have done an overview of the whole of Southeast Asia. We did travel for five months around there. We went to Thailand, Cambodia, Vietnam, Indonesia and Philippines. So in the description below there's an overview of the whole of Southeast Asia. We also did create daily vlogs whilst backpacking, so if you want to check it out and see more of Vietnam and the whole of Asia, then the link will be in the description below. Also, we're going to be posting some links on our website to do with Vietnam, to do with Asia, just loads of different links which might help you along your travels around Asia, depending on what countries you're going to. And we are going to be making individual videos on how to travel the countries we just mentioned. So if you are going to be doing this route and going to the country we mentioned, then look out for them. Thank you for watching and most importantly, have fun on your trip in Vietnam. And if you have any questions or queries, hit us up on Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, or just comment below. It's all at me and my missus and we'll be willing to help you. Goodbye. <laughs>